Hey guys, so we're going to talk about code busters in these videos. And one of the main reasons we did that is because we couldn't find any good video to explain anything <laughs> about code busters on YouTube. There's that. So um, for the note of all our videos, uh, we're going to use um, for convenience little small, small letters for plain text in blue and then capital letters for ciphertext and also in red. However, that's not always going to be the case um, at the meets, so you need to watch out for that. But today we're going to start with the Caesar cipher, which is the most basic and something you probably have to know before you move on to any other ciphers because it has some really important fundamental um, uh, concepts that you have to know um, with decrypting and encrypting. Okay, so the Caesar cipher is actually also known as a shift cipher because we're basically shifting the alphabet over to how many, how many, however many spaces um, for for the de encryption slash decryption. So we're gonna do an example for this. We're gonna encrypt, keep this secret with a shift of three. So we're gonna do is we are going to um, shift so um, shift a over three spaces. So for this, we'll say A, one, two, three. So A maps onto D. And then same thing, B, you shift three, one, two, three. So B is going to map onto E. And then same thing for C, that maps onto F. And then D maps onto G, etc., etc. Boom. Mm -hmm. So, okay, one thing to take notice is that once you end at Z, when it's uh, when you're mapping W, you start again at A, that maps onto X, and then Y maps onto B, and then Z maps onto C. Okay, so now we're actually going to encrypt this little message. Um, keep this secret. So we're going to refer back to this little table that we just made right now, and um, start figuring out what maps onto what. So we can refer here, we see that K is N, so we put an N here, and then E goes to H, we're going to do H, and we can also do the same for the other E's. And then for P, P maps onto S, so we're going to write S here. T maps onto W, so that's a W. H goes to K, I goes to L, S goes to V, same here, and then R goes to U, C goes to F, and then T goes on to W again. And there, that's how you encrypt with Caesar cipher. Okay, so now we're going to move on to an example of decryption. Um, and then we're going to start with the same thing, but this time it's with a shift of four. So if we start with the plain text, we're going to move over four letters to the right. So for A, we're going to go one, two, three, four. So A maps onto E, and then B maps onto F. C, one, two, three, four goes to G, et cetera, et cetera. So, so boom, here it is. Um, this is the, the, the table with a shift of four. So now we are going to again refer back to this table and then find out um, the plain text for this message. Um, so we're going to find E here, maps onto A, L is H, S is O, and then X is T, H is D, S is O again, and then K is G. So there. Uh, keep in mind that your plain text better make sense. <laughs> 